Once Scaffold is finished loading your data, you can load Go annotations using the main drop-down menus at the top of the window. In the Edit drop-down menu, click Edit Go Term Options to begin the process. This will call the Go Term Configuration window, where you can define custom lists of default Go Terms to use, edit your existing GoA databases, and catalog new ones. While I have the NCBI annotations database loaded, I want to download a human-only annotation database. To do this, I'll click the New Database button here. This will bring up a separate window where you can select which GoA database to download. If you don't see the GoA database that you wish to use in our list, there are several external websites that host many more specific GoA databases, and are available for download through their websites. Note that some databases can take several hours to download because of their size. The Humans Only database is fairly small in comparison, so it should only take a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and download that now. Once the database is done downloading, it will appear in the list of databases here. Click on the Newly Acquired Database and hit Select. This will prepare Scaffold to load the proper database. To apply Go terms to your experiment, click the Experiment drop-down menu and select Add Go Annotations near the bottom of the list. Once your Go terms load, Scaffold will display a table with color-coded dots representing high-level annotations for each protein. Each dot marks a specific Go term annotation for the associated protein. Experimentally verified annotations will appear as a filled-in circle, whereas computationally inferred annotations will appear as an empty circle. Annotating your proteins for GoTerms will also load each protein's taxonomy, which appears next to the GoTerm annotations. You can order your proteins by GoTerm by clicking on the desired terms column at the top. This orders the annotation table by whichever term you selected. By hovering over an annotation in the table, you can see the GoTerm hierarchy associated with that annotation in a pop-up window. Alternatively, selecting the protein will call the hierarchies of all that protein's annotations in the gene ontology pane below the list of proteins. To export Go terms in an Excel report, select any of the samples reports in the Export menu. Besides sorting your Go terms, there are several options available to you for filtering your proteins by annotation. In the Samples view, you can select Advanced Filters manually by clicking the button with the magnifying glass next to the search bar. Here, you can set many different kinds of advanced filters. To filter by GoTerm, click the green cross next to the GoTerm section at the bottom of the window. This will call the list of GoTerms that we specified when we loaded our data. I want to filter by known molecular function and known biological process, so I'll select both of those entries and click OK. When I see them both appear in the filter window, I'll go ahead and click Apply to apply the filters to my experiment. 